Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, my dog Melvin and I are taking a Mammoth Lakes road trip. Despite having lived in California for over 20 years, I've never actually visited Mammoth before, so I figured now was the perfect time. What we found in Mammoth was so much more than we expected, so let me show you. So Melvin and I started our drive down in Los Angeles, and it's about a five hour drive up to Mammoth Lakes. However, I was on a budget, so we were staying in a town called Bishop, which is about 45 minutes south of Mammoth Lakes. On the way up to Bishop, I made a quick stop at the Olancha Sculpture Garden, which is located right off the 395 highway. The Olancha Sculpture Garden is a free outdoor exhibit with over two dozen metal sculptures by desert artist J.L. Hoffman. This is just a quick stop, but it's cool to see all this art out in the desert. Okay, so I'm driving south right now towards Lone Pine. Melvin and I are going to check out just a small section of the Mount Whitney Trail, and then we're gonna go into Alabama Hills. Um, but I'm in the town of Independence, or Independencia, one of the two. Um, but I saw Eastern Sierra Ice Cream Company as I was driving through, and there's a line, and I'm a child, so I had to turn around. So let's go get some ice cream. This is the Eastern Sierra Ice Cream Company, which sits right on the southbound side of the 395. They have lots of cute outdoor seating and some very, very good ice cream flavors. I got a malt ball and I got a coffee one. I think these were like two of the most popular, so we'll see. This is 15 out of 10. It was delicious. They make their own ice cream here and they clearly know what they're doing. So I would definitely stop here if you have the time. My next stop was going to be the Mount Whitney Trailhead. I wanted to take a short five to 10 minute walk on the trail with Melvin, but once we got up closer to the trailhead, the road was closed due to snowfall. So Melvin and I just turned around and headed back to Alabama Hills, but not before pulling over to take in some of these Eastern Sierra views. Alabama Hills is located near the base of the Eastern Sierra Nevada mountains and is known for its hilly landscape and rock formations. I spent about two hours here checking out the Arch Loop Trail and getting some pictures with Melvin at the Arch. The Alabama Hills are popular for photography, hiking, camping, and stargazing. And the landscapes here are absolutely gorgeous. I would definitely love to come back and spend a bit more time here. Okay, so I just logged out of work. It's 4.30 and Melvin and I are going to drive up to Mono Lake. It's about an hour and 15 minutes from here, but sunset isn't until 7.30. So we'll get there probably around 6.30, 6.45, and then we'll have about two hours to explore. This is what the drive to Mono Lake looks like. I just passed the turnout for Mono Lake three times. I've had to keep driving in circles all over 395. I finally got it though, um, so it's a pretty, it's a pretty small turnoff, and it's not well marked to get to Mono Lake, but uh, yeah, I'm getting closer. Once you find the turnoff for Mono Lake, you'll end up on this dirt road. The road was flat and surprisingly smooth, so my tiny Fiat 500 had no problem navigating this. When you arrive at the parking area, you'll find some signs telling you about the lake and the various critters that live there. There is also information about the fees and some red envelopes so you can make your payment. It's cash only, so be sure to have a few dollars on you when you visit. This area is also dog friendly, so Melvin got to enjoy seeing Mono Lake too. The trail out to the beach is paved with several signs along the way telling you about the lake, which is known for its tufa towers, which are those limestone columns you see coming out along the shore and jetting out from the water. I was pleasantly surprised by how beautiful this lake was. I'd seen photos online before, but this is one of those places you should really see in person. Melvin and I explored the short trails weaving through the Tufa Towers and just enjoyed the views. This is a really great spot for sunset and would be the perfect location for photographers. This is Mammoth Scenic Loop. It is a 16 mile loop road near Mammoth Lakes. 
and I haven't done a lot of research on it, so I'm not sure exactly what to expect on this drive. The only thing I did here is that it's not particularly scenic. Um, so I guess we're about to find out if Mammoth Scenic Loop is scenic or not. Um, but it's beautiful out, the weather's nice, and I think it's pretty. So let's go check it out. Spoiler alert, there is nothing to see on the scenic loop. But I did come across the Mammoth Mountain Ski Area before turning around and heading down into Mammoth Village. I wasn't planning on stopping there either until I came across the Mammoth Brewing Company, which did pique my interest, so I did a U-turn and stopped in to check it out. The outdoor area that you see right here is dog friendly, so I decided to head in. I ordered myself this cider and I also ordered this cheeseburger with those waffle fries. This was delicious, so this is a good spot to grab something to eat if you're staying in Mammoth Village area. Uh, Melvin and I just hung out outside for a bit while I ate my lunch and then we headed back out on the road again. Our next stop was to see June Lake and drive the June Lake Loop. We first came across the town of June Lake, which has some cute cafes and restaurants, and then I got kind of lost. Okay, so I'm at June Lake. I am on a loop road that circles the lake, but it took me forever to figure out how to get on the loop road. I think I found where all the rich people live. I saw all the really nice houses, so that was kind of cool. Um, but now I'm on this loop road and I can't find anywhere where I can actually pull over. I'm not, I'm not supposed to be pulled over right here. Um, there's no parking here, but um, yeah, I'm trying to find a spot like where there's a lookout or like a vista point or something where I can actually look at the lake. I'm not sure if this is one of those lakes where it's like Los Angeles where all the rich people buy up the land so there's no view. Um, I guess we'll find out, but as of right now, I can, I'm at June Lake, but I can barely see the lake. So we'll see. I eventually realized that June Lake has a beach, so I made my way there and was finally able to see the lake. The lake was frozen over, but still very beautiful, and Melvin and I hung out and enjoyed the views for a bit before we made our way back to our hotel. I saved my favorite spot from this Mammoth Lakes road trip for last. If you do only one thing from all the things to do in Mammoth Lakes I've shared with you, make it visiting Convict Lake at sunset. You'll find this overlook area right on the lake shore next to the parking area where you can take in the views a bit. There are also some signs where you can learn a bit about the lake and it's also a good spot for some pictures. So this is Convict Lake just behind me. Uh, you can see it's still pretty frozen over but there are some spots where it's starting to thaw. It is late April right now so I would guess that maybe in a couple of weeks, maybe by the end of May, the water will be visible, um, at least a little bit more so uh, than it is today. Um, but the pictures of this lake during the spring and summer are really beautiful. Um, not that it's not beautiful now, it is, um, because you've got the beautiful mountain range right there. Um, but I just think the contrast with the color of the lake with the mountains in the backdrop is extra beautiful. Um, but I still think this would be a good stop um, it's just a quick stop to check out the lake here. And then I found this spot as I was about to head out and ended up sticking around. I scoped it out at first, then went to go get Melvin, who was waiting in the car behind me. And we sat here together for over an hour. You guys, I felt like I was in a painting. You've got to come here at sunset and see this for yourself. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please like this video and subscribe for more. Thank you.